All right, Mara. Today, the state is reporting another 515 new coronavirus cases and nine more deaths. Today's headlines, Beaumont Hospital's Farmington Hills campus is implementing a no visitors policy starting tomorrow out of an abundance of caution due to a rise in cases there. And the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference voting today to suspend all sports until the year 2021. The conference features most, mostly Michigan schools, including Wayne State, Ferris State, Grand Valley State and Saginaw Valley State. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris appearing together today for the first time as running mates. The pair trying to show they're a team with similar values and shared goals as they try to take back the White House amid a pandemic and the racial unrest that we've seen. Alice Barr is in Washington with the latest. The Biden-Harris Democratic ticket taking center stage today and stepping into history. Your next vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris. Senator Kamala Harris is the first black woman on a major party ticket. Joe Biden hoping that sends a message to young girls of color. Today, today, just maybe, they're seeing themselves for the first time in a new way as the stuff of president and vice presidents. Harris is a U.S. Senator from California and that state's former Attorney General. She's the daughter of immigrants from India and Jamaica who met during the Civil Rights Movement. Marching and shouting for this thing called justice in a struggle that continues today. And I was part of it. My parents would bring me to protest strapped tightly in my stroller. More than 20 years younger than Biden, Harris is already injecting enthusiasm into the campaign. It's raised more than $26 million just since she joined the ticket. The Biden team also counting on the 